we're going to talk to you all about this thing called aggression and tech and aid and how aggressive this new game is and people are getting mad about it we got me we got arslan talking about how horrible this game is but now they're loving it because they're learning to embrace the aggression that is tech and aid so yeah i want to talk a little bit about my thoughts on this aggressive version of the game as it exists now um and uh, a little bit about like some defensive mechanics that i think might be better tuned to be stronger uh so in tekken 8 it's very clear that they introduced these really strong mechanics you have heat bursts you have heat dash you have armor moves that are really powerful which were there before but then you have these high armor moves, which I'm hearing from other players who are legacy. That's a new thing or they're being aggressive. No, it's high armor moves that go into heat. That's new because heat's new. Thanks for that right, guy. So the problem is that there are a lot of really strong 50-50 mix-ups that are present in Tekken 8. Now, many of you or a few of you, depending on whether this video blows up or not, no, I play Virtual Fighter. And I talk about it every opportunity I have a chance to. This is an opportune moment to tell you about how in Virtual Fighter, we have a thing called Nitaku, which is a Japanese word for two force toy situations. The hallmark of Virtual Fighter, its core essence is 50-50. Rapid Fire 50-50. So the exact aggression that Tekken players who are legacy are having to, for the first time, really grapple with in a way that they haven't in the past is something we've been dealing with in Virtual Fighter for a very, 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 very long time. A very long time. And we love it. But what makes the aggression in VF different than the aggression in Tekken? Uh, I was talking to someone yesterday about that. I think it was yesterday, recently. And there is a stark difference between the aggression of Virtual Fighter and the aggression of Tekken. And it's all about the defensive options in Virtual Fighter that are there that really aren't there in Tekken. So in, in these games that have well-balanced 50-50s, they're not really 50-50s. They're like 20 percent chance you're gonna get hit or it's a 20 percent chance that you're not gonna get hit and and basically it's like a between a zero and 50 chance of you getting hit let's say it typically ranges between 10 percent chance of you getting hit or like a 50 percent chance of you getting hit the the worst situations are you being in a 50 50 but like with your defensive skill in virtual fighter you can turn that 50 50 completely in your favor or like 20, 80 in your favor. And even sometimes, if you can't neutralize it outright, you can make it 10% in your favor. I mean, a uh, 10%, sorry, other way around. So in 50%, 50, 50, 40, 60, 30, 70, and a uh, 20, 80 in the defender's favor, right? You're allowed to do that in VF with, with with layered offense and layered defense. It works on both ends. Aggression and defense are two sides of the same coin. My aggression, in Virtual Fighter at least, also requires I defend. Now, in Tekken, that's very different because of the way frames work. In, in, virtual, in, in Tekken, almost everything on hit is plus. So until you block something, you don't get a chance to get out of it. You don't get to breathe until you block something. That's a core fundamental difference to the experience of aggression that players are complaining about in Tekken that us virtual fighter players who are playing it or are just used to it because we play VF. In VF, there are natural breakpoints in someone's pressure, even if they continue to hit that hit you. Most hits will actually not lead to more hits. You'll have to earn another hit. Every hit has to be earned. 
uh, in, in Tekken, you hit one person once, you get to hit them again more easily, and then again more easily, and then again more easily, and then again and again and again, and now you're in heat, and you've activated heat armor, and and now you've just lost your life because you tried to make a guess and you're dead. I think that's the problem that Tekken's having, where there there aren't natural breakpoints in the pressure on hit, which gives the defender a relief point. There are mids that are negative on hit. Bam, there are mids, there are highs, there are lows that are all negative on hit in Virtual Fighter. The rule is negative on hit. The exception is plus on hit, unless it's counter hit. So normal hit, which is what most moves are in tech and normal hit, most moves don't have different properties on counter hit unless they're like a special move. They're very good, but Typically, you're, 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 you're not going to have um, plus frames on a normal hit. So as a defender, you can get out if you block, if you take a certain hit, or if you don't get counter hit. That's easy. It's completely in your control. So if you're stuck having to guess over and over and over again in Virtual Fighter, it's really your fault. You messed up. You're not doing something you should be doing. That's very easy to do, which is stop pressing a button. Stop trying to move and just stand there and block and don't get counter hit. In Tekken, you don't have that reprieve. You don't have the power of just, maybe I'll, I'll take a hit, I'll get my frames back, and I'll be fine. Um, historically, Tekken has used movement as its main approach for defense, which is back dash, back dash, back dash. I found that to be obnoxious, personally, but I know Old school Tekken players who like that style love it. I despise it. I thought it was boring. Um, I know. I know. I'm creating a great sin calling the masterpiece that is Tekken pre Tekken 8 boring. But that's how I felt. So I don't think they're going to bring that back. I, I really don't. I don't think they're going to make it so that backdashing is as powerful as it used to be. Yeah, and it is boring. Yeah, well, a lot of players felt like it was boring. So it's not just me. A lot of, I guess maybe people didn't want to say it out loud. Right, there's my show style. See, it's not boring. There we go. Do duality. Backdashing is boring. It's not boring. It's footsies. Okay, yeah. Footsies is boring then, what you're saying? Saying footsies is boring? The thing everyone wants to have more of? Yeah. So, basically, I think Tekken could benefit from either a system adjustment where you'd had some moves that are very powerful on counter hit. Like, it's surprising to me that we have moves that are high heat engagers that are safe on block like that's uh, uh, that, that's just wild to me i don't understand that like if i had a high heat engager i'd make it so that it's like negative on hit or something i don't know but i understand in tech and high moves have to be good because they're high you can duck them and you need to give people a reason to want to duck I don't exactly know how they get design-wise out of the conundrum they're currently in. I don't have a good solution to this other than making it virtual vibe. But I don't want them to go back to what they had before, which was backdash, backdash, back. I hate, I just, I'm, I'm so happy Korean backdash got nerfed. I, I really am. I'm glad sidestepping got buffed. Maybe they could buff sidestepped even more. If they want to keep like this, you know, you I, you have to engage. Perhaps that's the solution. I need to turn those off when I'm making videos. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Argnite. So yeah, I don't know. What do you think, chat and YouTube people in the doubt below me? Do you do you think Tekken? needs to be more like VF but in terms of moves on hit being negative. 
Do you think that needs to happen? Because I'm, I, I don't know. That's all I got. That's the only thought I have. The abundance of plus frames at the moment makes it hard, very hard to deal with situations. Yeah, it does. I would love VF size of Tekken, size of system in Tekken, but I like how in Tekken you can cancel your size step whenever you want, and that it leaves space for a lot of skill expression and player expression. Because are you the kind of player who wants to really make sure you get that full side step? Or are you confident you know exactly how long to step and cancel and go into your attack? Uh, that's kind of fun. I like that. Maybe that's... Oh, see, I, so I don't want them to nerf the aggressive tools. I think you need more defensive options. The problem to me isn't that the aggression is too powerful. The problem is that they made aggression powerful without giving you a defensive equivalent to counter it. So it feels oppressive. So that's like, well, they can't make defense too strong or else no one will attack. So I, again, I don't I don't have a solution to the problem. I the backdash used to be the defensive option, right? But the backdash option was boring and led to no one engaging. It led to a boring style of play. Thank you, devils. There's people right now that are really good at not getting put in that situation. Right, right. The way you play around it is just don't get in the situation. Don't allow it to happen. That becomes the game. Avoid that situation from happening to you. Which I think is more interesting because then you, it becomes a matter of how do you engage around not getting in that situation? And that becomes the mix up. How can I get you in a situation? How are you going to try and get out of it? I'm going to stop you from trying to get out of it. And that's, and that's fun to me. I love that. And it's not a 50 50 at that point. It's a an avoidance of a checkmate situation. Would V shift type mechanic would be good in Tekken? Isn't heat kind of like that? Oh, oh, be shit. Um, isn't Backdash kind of like that already? Yeah, Gellius, the solution is dead good. You're right. Stop guessing wrong. But it would be nice to have more options other than Backdash. Like, I can't emphasize this enough. I do not, for the love of God, want backdash to be the thing that you have to do to deal with it. Like, I I, I just, I, I don't want that. I don't, I don't, I don't want it. Please no. You get hit on backdash though, V-Shift? Well, if you got hit when you're backdashing, it means you weren't backdashing right, right? Yeah, that's the game. I think people have to just play Tekken 8 as Tekken 8. That might be why like newer players are finding success with it. Because we're not trying to play it like Tekken 7 or 6 or 5. We're playing it as Tekken 8. Yeah, Bastro, I, w I mean, I would say in all the previous Tekkens, lame play was encouraged. Like that's from the outside as a non Tekken player for many years. Like that's how I always saw Tekken. I was like, yeah, that's Tekken. That's why I didn't play it. In Tekken 8, they said, no, we're not doing that. And I, and I, I looked at stuff and I saw, oh, why? They're not. This is interesting, which is why I'm playing it. It's literally the only reason why I'm playing it. If it were to revert back to its old former state, I would drop it. Like, boom, I play Street Fighter 6 or just wait for, Tekken, for Street Fighter Virtual Hotter 5 or something. To come, I probably wouldn't drop it. I mean, I'm, I'm too, I'm too deep now. I'm liking it too much. Ling's already got me. So, and that will never he be here. Lux, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. 
So I, I'm, I'm like, I'm fairly certain. Second time is aggressive, not like BF is. I cannot. So, so every fighting game is lame compared to Virtual Fighter in terms of aggression. There is no game other than maybe like Marvel that approaches the aggression that Virtual Fighter pushes on you. Like BF2 was the most aggressive bullshit game. Holy shit, was it fucking like it was stupid. Stupid. I know what I want to go back to that. So that's my that's my frame of reference. I'm coming from. So like aggression for me is that. Mm hmm I, I truly think the design decision for Tekken 8 was let's take some more from Virtual Fighter and put it in and, and make it Tekken. Tekkenize it. And I think you'll see over time it's gonna work out really well and you're gonna like it. But it's gonna take some adjusting. It's gonna take some adjusting. But you're like you're, you're gonna like it in time. You're gonna love it. You just gotta make reads. You gotta make reads. You gotta be comfortable making those guesses. And making those guesses in a way that favors you, basically. Death shakes up the pot? Yeah, it does. Death shirt, certainly. With low juggle combo time? Round four for the win? Oh, yeah, yeah. Refrain to four. I wish there was more counterplay, but not the counterplay you had before. Like, I wish side steps were better in this game. Yeah, the game's new. Like, the game's legit new. But again, this happens whenever a new game comes out. There's always gonna be the old guard that played with the old game. They're like, this new game is trash. These new players are beating our asses. What the fuck? And they shouldn't be. It's like, well, why, why shouldn't they? Well, because I played the old game. This isn't the old game. This is a new game. Well, you know, things should trans over, but, but, but they didn't. It's different. It's a new game. That's like a third strike player getting up. That's like a... No, no, no. That's like a super turbo player playing third strike for the first time. And being like, why am I not beating these third strike players? Motherfucker's a different game. I think sometimes as players get very good at something, they sometimes lose sight of what they like about the game. And what can happen is there's a transformation or a metastasization of enjoyment of the game for its sake into enjoyment of being strong. And once you start to just enjoy being strong and a new game comes out and you're no longer strong, the game is trash. That's the cycle every new game goes through. Because the old things that were powerful aren't powerful anymore. New things are there that overshadow sometimes the old thing. And the best players are going to be the ones who can integrate everything in at the appropriate amount. You just got to adapt. Just got to get used to it and not be attached to being strong and that be what you get your joy from. What's joyful is process 
of becoming strong. But strength at its own goal is not, it's a fool's errand. It'll lead you to a place that will make you mad when the next game comes out and you're not good anymore. Or you're not as good as you used to be relative to other players. It's a lot like the Buddhist philosophy where you would make sand. You'd make these beautiful, they'd make these beautiful, but Buddhist monks would make these beautiful um, sand sculptures or paintings and like designs on the ground with the full knowledge, like intricate, just painstakingly beautiful works of art with the full knowledge that as soon as it rains, it's gone. As soon as the wind blows, it's gone. So that enjoyment of the beauty of that piece is short-lived, it's fleeting, and is not meant to be experienced forever. It's a moment in time. It's a procedure you get to do and enjoy making something beautiful. And that's what's enjoyable, not beauty for beauty's sake but the whole process putting the pieces together putting the grains down again with the full knowledge that as soon as it rains it's gone and you're gonna have to do it all over again and you're not disappointed you're not resentful you're expecting and that's part of the beauty of the work that you get to do it again and again and again and you get a little bit better every time that's beautiful that's what fighting games is for me it's a beautiful piece of art that is but sands on a stone floor that was yet to be washed away every time a new revision comes out or every time a new version of the game comes out the old piece is washed and I get to rebuild that's a good video that's a happy video too I kind of got I went somewhere there I got I got I got something in there 